Uh, so how did you get involved with the Twilight Zone reboot? Um, I had knew nothing about it, and um, they uh, wanted to talk to me, and I didn't want to touch it with a 10-foot pole. <laughs> and so I said no, and, um, and then I um, talked to somebody, and then I started thinking about how interesting Jordan Peele is, and then I thought that maybe it might be fun to try it, and here I am. <laughs> <laughs> so when you say you knew nothing about it, you mean the original, or no. just a reboot? I knew, I I knew I didn't want to okay. mess with a, doing a reboot of the Twilight Zone. I've seen a couple of other versions, and the thing that's m really amazing about what they did in the '60s and the '50s was that it they created this world with um, not much, mm -hmm. and the sets are flimsy and they're um, not really well thought out. And it's a it's a it's a it's a really in, it's a, it's a, they created a world. What you're supposed to do as a production designer, and you're supposed to help tell the story, and you're supposed to do all that. Th um, um, but when you add on years, and you add on uh, um, fame, and people talking about it all the time, it becomes some other thing, and um, that's a scary thing to take mm -hmm. on. So when you uh, do join a reboot of such an iconic show like that, like how do you juggle? paying homage to the original and bringing your own style into it? Well, I can't help but bring my own style into things mm -hmm. because it's uh, things appeal to me that um, appeal to me. And I know that I'm supposed to, um, you know, if I was hired to, you know, design a movie about you, I would get interest. I would pretend to be interested in yes. what you're pretend. doing. Yeah. And, the um, operative word. <laughs> right. And then I would still, I would still make things look yeah appealing to me because I don't I don't if something doesn't appeal to me then I don't know if it's good I don't know if I let you know what I mean mm -hmm. so um I personal style cannot be discounted from any job I don't think even though I think any textbook would say that personal style must be erased um uh um but you can watch you know the production designers that I really admire you know like Bo Welch you can tell with three frames of film, um, that it's hit, that he did that, and it doesn't matter what the movie is. It doesn't matter. You can tell that he did this work. Mm -hmm. So, um, um, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> Just how did you balance those two? Of well, like I wanted to make homage. sure that they knew that I was interested in this, um, but it was go you know we were going to have to. Um, it, they, everyone knows what the Twilight Zone is about. Everyone knows that there's going to be a twist at the end, and you know, boo. And um, so we're already all there. We're already all on board. We know what the show's about. We know who's going to say it. You know. So they got to make it interesting. And um, so I was hoping that they would let us and the cinematographers go, you know, kind of nuts with this thing and, and invent a world like they did in the '60s, where like, you know, the the very famous episode with on the airplane with William Shatner. If you watch that really closely and don't look at him because he's impossible not to look at because <laughs> like the acting is so like uh, anyway he, <laughs> but, but you're walk there's there's rec room paneling on the wall there's like curtains on the windows of the airplane there are it, you know it's like this is not an airplane this is mm -hmm. like a, a um, um, like a house and like, yeah. so we were gonna do uh, an airplane episode that I, I wouldn't have I wouldn't have <laughs> suggested it but we're gonna do an, an airplane episode so I was like well, I'm gonna do I'm wallpapering it I'm putting mm -hmm. I'm putting curtains in it I'm putting those things over the back that keep your hair from you know um, so I wanted to make sure that the show felt like you're tuning in to watch something special mm -hmm. and they let me do that mm -hmm. uh, well the other unique aspect about the show is, is an anthology. So it's not like you have one set throughout you could use for all eight episodes. Every right. episode's different. So what were the challenges of that and what was the timeline like of we knew we building were, sets each week for each episode? Yeah, we knew we weren't gonna get any more time and we knew that we were never gonna get all the money that we wanted. So what we did cleverly, I think, was we created a world that all this that all this nonsense takes place in it's all it all happens and the idea was there's another planet that's going you know it's swirling around the universe uh right with us but 
a couple of the ones and a couple of the zeros are different and things seem like you recognize them, but they also seem very strange. And so keeping that in mind, we had to build every last thing for the show, but we knew what we, we, we knew what it should feel like and be like. And so that helps a lot. We didn't have to go from, you know, um, a Western town to, uh, you know, to yeah, there's still Berlin like a similar through line yeah. through all the episodes. We yeah, we are we are kind of we stayed in a lane, and um, and I mean, there's a there's a spaceship a, a, a flight to Mars episode that mm. um, kind of messes with that whole <laughs> theory, but um, but for the most part, we 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 it's almost like we were all in the same the, all the stories took place in the same city. Mm-hmm. So that was help. That um, helped. Your uh, Emmy episode submission is uh, the eighth episode, Point of Origin, and that's the one with uh, Jennifer Goodwin. Um, and she plays Eve, this affluent housewife who turns out to be a pilgrim, as they call in the episode. So the episode's about xenophobia, immigration, and privilege, and very topical issues. Um, I, I really love this, the two main sets in the episode, which is like her house, which is big and spacious and has color, and then all the holding cells she's in, which are dark and bleak and suffocating. So how did you approach those two? There were two versions sets. of the script, and one was the one that you saw, and mm-hmm. the other one was that they, they, the whole family got taken away into custody, and then you find out that, they're in, that they've all died and they're in purgatory, and they have to jump oh, wow. over this river okay. in, in order to sort of get Very to different. heaven, right? Yeah. So um, when the other script came along, it, the, um, I, I was so blown away, especially at the time when it came about... Uh, um, if so many like white people in the U.S. would have something really horrible happen to, them. I know that sounds awful, but how would you how would you react? And that whole episode is about if you get something taken away from you that you feel really really close to, or that you are that you're entitled to it, or whatever it is, um, uh, how you know how, how does that make you feel? So we had to make her life. You know, incredibly unrelatable in the in the way that they lived, and we put her in like, you know, fifties, you know, dresses and um, every um, and so she had a lot, a lot, a lot to lose, and uh, it's an amazing episode, uh, sort of sociologically. It's um, uh, and we helped by. Uh, Showing what you can lose and how how fast you can lose it mm-hmm. and how awful things are when everything's not pretty. Mm-hmm. Um, I like the circle motif in the episode. There's a lot of circles with the the windows mm. and <laughs> the mirrors. So how did those come about? Uh, all of those things that you mentioned from your car, those shows that you mentioned from mm-hmm. your car, uh, you'll see a circle motif in all of them, mm-hmm. and that's sort of my uh, little like. I guess it's a trademark, um, but it's a, it's just a thing I like to do. I th- I feel like on a set it makes things feel more custom, and that you know you can't go and buy you know gigantic round windows at the Home Depot, and so it m- just makes things feel a little mm-hmm. bit more special. And I was wondering if it was like sort of like a representation of her spiraling and how like tightly wound she well, was. Well, in that episode, the circles were meant to be. Uh, all, people are watching her all mm-hmm. the time, so there's eyes everywhere, and like. In the office, you'll, he's sitting at a desk, and you see the two mm-hmm. big round windows, and I believe there was something else in there that sort of felt like a nose. And like so everywhere mm-hmm. they went where you saw these circles, it felt like somebody was looking at, yeah. at her. And then at the end, it, it comes full circle because she gets apprehended again. So it's like what comes around goes around. <laughs> That's it. Yes. yes. Um, so which episode of the season would you say was the hardest to design for? We built, uh, we built uh, a spaceship um, for a uh, uh, nine-month mission to Mars, and um, uh, that's really hard to do in a couple of weeks. So um, that, would, uh, that was definitely the hardest, but it's really also really rewarding. I mean, I would have I put it up for, as a submission for, for um, this season, uh, except that it makes the show seem like it's a very sci-fi thing, which it's not. So, um, but really super proud of that episode and also um, it was incredibly hard to do. Mm -hmm. Was that your favorite one too or something else? No, I like the really really social ones. There's uh, one called Rewind uh, Mm -hmm. about a kid going to college and this 
cop just keeps pulling the 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 mom has a video camera and this cop just keeps pulling them over and she hits rewind and when she hits rewind they go back and she's trying to figure out how to get this cop to not follow her son because all he wants to do is go to college and it's him going to his first day of college and um you know, this this cop keeps pulling their car over and it ends in the kid getting shot and so you know that's going to happen and the every time she hits the rewind button you're just wondering how she can like yeah. how she can save this kid from getting you know murdered mm -hmm. uh, so are you coming back for season two i am yes has, what, what what stage of development is it at right now? Have they're you writing, started anything? They're yeah. writing scripts, and we all get back. We all go back to Vancouver in September and um, start shooting in October. Exciting! Maybe more spaceships. I yeah. hope not. <laughs> <laughs>